we're back for day 13 of our capital letters. Today we're going to learn capital K, capital V, and capital Y. Okay, capital K starts a little bit below the top line, just like the letters we learned yesterday. It curves around and makes that cane shape like the beginning of the H. Then you have to pick up your pencil. You come over here to the other side and you make come down at an angle like that. You touch and make a little loop and come out with a tail. Uh, where I'm writing with a marker, my loop filled in a little bit right there. So I'll try to do better on the next one. Okay, now you want this to look like a K. You don't want it to look like an H, so be really careful about that. When you're ready, you can pause and make a row of capital K and then go back and find which one you think is your best and circle it. Okay, let's get ready to make capital V. Now, um, capital V starts just like the capital K, just a little bit below the top line. You're going to come around down to the bottom. You're going to curve back up and put on another curve right there. So it's very similar to the way the W looks, except it just has one, one dip down instead of two. So this is the capital V. Um, when you're writing a word that starts with the capital V, it will not connect right up here. You'll just start it right down here beside of it. So it's all one motion. It starts a little bit below the top line, curves down, back up, with another little curve out. Now notice a, a V in print is pointed at the bottom. A V in cursive is not. Now once you all start really writing in cursive a lot, you'll kind of develop your own style. And you know, you will you might make your letters a little bit different than this. I've seen people who make their V's pointy and that's okay. But as you're learning, it's good just to learn this way. And then as you start writing in cursive more, begin to develop your own style. Okay, once you finish your row, you can, you can pause and finish your row of V, then find which one you think is your best and circle it. Okay, let's move on to capital Y. For capital Y, we're gonna start the exact same way as we did with our K and our V. Just a little bit below the top line you're gonna come around with the same motion you did for the V. You're gonna come all the way up, but you're gonna stay straight right there. This stays straight. Notice it doesn't turn out like that because you're not finished. Once you go straight up to the top, you're gonna to trace that line down. And you're gonna be coming down into the basement with the bottom of your Y. When you get down into the basement, you're gonna curve around this way. You're gonna put on a loop down there and then the tail. So it looks a little top heavy. It's bigger up here than it is down here. So there's your capital Y. Don't, don't make it too wide. You don't want it to be like that. See, that's way too big, isn't it? So try to make it more narrow. Okay, you can pause this video and make a row of capital Y and then find your very best one and circle it. Okay, we're going to practice some names with these letters. The first name we're going to practice is the name Kelly, K-E-L-L-Y. So we'll make our capital K and then straight into our E. L, L, and then our lowercase y, just like that, K-E-L-L-Y. K, 
Okay, you can pause this video and practice writing the name Kelly. Okay, now we'll practice writing a word that starts with V, the name Vera. So we make our V, and it will not connect to our next letter. V, we'll just come down here and start with our E. E, R, A. That's Vera. V, E, R, A. A. Okay, you can pause and practice writing the word Vera. Okay, uh, a name with a Y. I thought you all might like to write the name Yoda from Star Wars. So we will start a little bit below the top line. Make our Y. O. Now remember our O has this handle, which is going to make a tricky connection to our next letter, which is going to be a D. So our D is going to start right here. I'm going to go ahead and put my curve there. Then I'm going to curve back around and do my D all the way up. And then my A. Y-O-D-A. And you see where it's got that tricky connection. You shouldn't pick up your pencil at all on this one. Y. O D A. Okay, pause this video and practice writing the word Yoda. Okay, tomorrow we'll be back together for day 14, which will be Z, Q, and L.